This is amazing. Now we are going to create a RAG application which can handle PDFs. We are going to use Llama 3 to power that using Grok API. PhiData being the main Python package to perform all this task. In this, mainly we are going to see two different applications. One is RAG using Grok. The second thing is RAG using Olama, which means 100% all your data is local and private. Generally, a RAG application consists of two steps. The first step is to provide the data. In our case, it will be a PDF file. So once we provide the data, it will automatically chunk those texts, convert those to embeddings, and then save that in the database. The second step is that the user is going to ask a question based on the PDF uploaded. Then that question is searched in the database and sent to the large language model Llama 3 to get a much accurate answer. So the whole RAG is put together using file data. At the end, we'll have an application like this where you should be able to upload files. That is the first step. Or even you can add URL and that data will be copied to the database after converting to embeddings. A second step is that you can ask questions based on the uploaded document and it is able to provide more accurate answer. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about RAG with Llama 3 on Grok using PhiData. To create an application like this, first we are going to set up environment, second we are going to install packages, third we are going to create a database and finally we are going to run the application. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, git clone github.com slash phidata hq slash phidata and then click enter. Next navigate to phidata cookbook llms grok slash rag and then click enter. You can see the path clearly here. Next conda create hyphen in phidata python equals 3.11 and then click enter. By creating a virtual environment you keep this project completely unaffected by the other projects you create. Next conda activate Phi data and then click enter to activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. This will install all the required packages. This is step number two. After this, export grok API key like this and then click enter. You can get the API key from console.grok.com and then click API keys. Now we have completed first two steps. The third step is to create database. For that, we need Docker. We can install Docker desktop on Mac, on Windows, or on Linux, all the instructions provided here. So once after you install, if you type docker-v, you can see the version here. That means Docker is successfully installed. Next, to install the database, we're going to use docker run and this command. I'll put all the information in the description below. We're going to use PG vector as a database and then click enter. Now the image will automatically download it and your Docker container will start running. You can verify that by typing docker ps and then click enter. Now you can see the pg vector got successfully run 12 seconds before. Now the third step is complete. The final step is to run the application. Before running the application, we need Olama because we use Olama to embed our texts. Make sure you have downloaded Olama from olama.com website. After doing that, type olama pull nomic embed text and then click enter. Now we are ready to run the application. Make sure you have activated your file data and also pip install hyphen r requirements.txt just to double check if you install everything. Next, streamlit run app.py and then click enter. This will automatically open this beautiful user interface where you are able to upload any PDF and then ask question related to that PDF. Now I'm going to upload one PDF that is self rewarding language models. This contains a lot of text. Now I'm clicking browse files and then adding that file. You can even drag and drop the file here. In the back end, we can clearly see as soon as the PDF gets uploaded, it divides that content into chunks. Then the chunks got converted to embeddings and stored in the database. Everything is taken care by PhiData. Now I'm going to add one more file that is mixture of vision experts. Clicking the browse files and adding it. Now we got both files uploaded. Now I'm going to ask a question. What is self-rewarding language models and then click enter. In the back end we can see based on the question 
the app is searching the database and pulling relevant information. And that information is sent to the large language model and we get a final response here. Next, we are going to ask, what is mixture of vision experts? And then click enter. And we got a response immediately. This answer is based on the PDF which we uploaded. This is exciting. One more thing I wanna show you is that you can enter a URL and all the content from this URL can be stored in the database. I'm going to click add URL and you can see it's processing URLs, which means it's scrolling the data within the URL. It's storing everything in the database. Now we are ready to ask a question. Tell me about OLAMA and OpenAI. And we got a response immediately. Now we are going to see how we can set the same application, but without using any API completely locally on your computer with OLAMA. In this way, your data is completely private. To do that, first we are going to navigate to the OLAMA folder like this, which means you are in this path, PhiData, Cookbook, LLMS, OLAMA, RAG. Now, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt to install all the required packages. Next, olama pull llama3 to download llama3 8 billion parameter model completely locally on your computer. And then click enter. Now llama3 got downloaded locally. Now I'm ready to run the application. Just type streamlit run app.py and then click enter. Now the application is ready. I'm going to upload a file, browse files. Upload the self-rewarding models research paper. At the back end, you can see it's automatically divided into chunks and then converted to embeddings and then it's getting saved to the database. Loaded 36 documents to knowledge base. Now loading is done. The first step is done. That's what we saw here. We loaded PDF. It got divided into chunks, converted to embeddings and stored in database. Now step number two, that the user, that is you and me is going to ask question and we are going to get much more accurate answer. So here is the local rag. Now I'm going to ask question. What is self-rewarding language models? And then click enter. Now you can see the response is getting generated. And this data is from the research paper, which we have just uploaded. As you can see, it's all built with Phi data. And I will put my previous tutorial in regards to Phi data in the description below. You can modify this code based on your requirement and customize this application based on your needs. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.